Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, to answer a question from a viewer and I've had this question over time. We talked about the new Snapdragon X Elite Qualcomm ARM chips coming up and this is interesting because these chips are known to be very powerful, very efficient. They've been compared to the, um, the chips, the ARM chips used in uh, Apple devices and uh, M1, M2, and so on. Uh, so this is, I think, the moment where if ARM processors are taking over uh, the PC world with Windows, this will be the time that it might happen. I think everybody is waiting on this. We know that the Microsoft event of March 21st is going to focus on ARM devices, including surface devices that have this chip in it this chip has ai also so it's already built in for all of the capabilities of what windows 11 would be moving forward what is also interesting because the the first real big attempt of of arm was when there was some surface rt devices with windows 8 and what was the biggest problem with that is there is no compatibility with Windows in general because it's just another system running on a different processor. There is no compatibility. Here we are talking about, once again, a Windows operating system on ARM, but with x64 emulation, meaning the regular software you use every day might work in this. So this is the time, I think, where if something happens, it's going to happen. The other thing about it also is to understand that with the licensing deals expiring this year, other uh, manufacturers are going to get into the ARM processors. We know AMD, for one, will be there. And they promise to bring something that will be pretty amazing uh, by the end of the year. So all of this together means, could this be the time for ARM processors to shine? Uh, that could be the case, and we'll see what happens. We'll see how many PCs come out with you know, ARM chips with, of course, built for AI, as they say, uh, within the year 2024. Um, and the promise of this is not just the fact that there's a different processor. So there's more competition, for sure. Uh, including the competition with AMD and Intel, but also the efficiency of the power management. We know that ARM devices tend to have longer battery life. It's always been the problem with Intel and AMD, which are not very good at efficiency and saving power. So that also would give us not only great performing PCs, but the long battery life that Windows users have been waiting for for a long time. So we'll uh, see what happens. We'll see what's announced on the event on March 21st. But if there is a time that all of this could mean a future for ARM on Windows, I think now's the time. And it it's about time, too, because just look at how uh, Apple was able to bring this into the Mac world and, and do it in a great way, in a, in a way that it works great, it's fast, so we'll see what happens next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.